Hello everyone, this is going to be a short video demonstration of the QuoteSoft uh, piping program uh, and how it's used in the plumbing industry in particular. And so you're looking at a full screen uh, setup here, a full takeoff in our program um, with uh, several different systems here. We've got the green as your sanitary below grade. We've got your uh, uh, red and blue as your hot and cold water and the yellow is your gas. Um, the only thing we don't have here is the waste and vent showing. And, uh, and so I just want to briefly kind of talk about how we do the takeoff in our program, but I want to start by showing you a finished product and, and explaining the screen a little bit. Of course, you got the main screen area here. This is going to be the drawing and the takeoff itself. Um, but then uh, starting over here in the bottom left, this is your size palette. This determines the size of the items that will be available. And if you look on your fittings palette, for example, it does it does dynamically change when you select the size. And that's because only certain fittings are available in certain sizes. So we want to make sure that you take off uh, only the fittings that are available in that size. Um, here we've got your pipe options. You got your standard pipe, vertical pipe, or branch piping. And then we've also got your fittings that can be shown in picture or in text. Um, you can show these in text if you prefer, um, but you do get used to the pictures pretty quickly. And there's a hover over that kind of shows you what the, uh, uh, the item is. Um, to the right here, we've got your valves and flanges. If we were in a different system, uh, we, we would uh, show you valves there. When we get to the uh, do the takeoff for domestic water, I'll show you that we're currently in the, uh, the sanitary system. And so we don't have any valves or flanges to speak of. Uh, specialty items here, we've got a foundation sleeve and hangers. We've got excavation because we're working in an underground system currently. Um, but as we change to other systems, these lists will populate differently. Um, I want to show you, uh, we also have a full list of assemblies here in our program. And um, notice this is kind of a small box down here to the right. Uh, I want to show you is that we can pull this out and actually this screen can be customized um, however it needs to be customized. And so um, you can make this bigger or smaller. And you see I've got a whole setting of different assemblies here. I've got uh, heating and cooling as well as uh, plumbing assemblies um, well over over. Uh, uh, 400 different assemblies on the list here and you can sort these down to a much more reasonable uh, uh, list by simply clicking the letter so if you're for example looking for a water closet assembly or a water heater assembly um, you know here we we have them uh, uh, your water heater as I click around on these it shows you the different pictures as well as the bill of materials there and so take this two inch hot water heater um, you'll notice in a simple double click we'll put this back you'll notice this image here um, this image here I can pop out and of course I can make this bigger or, or smaller if you want to take a look at it. Um, it shows you everything that's in the assembly and then to the right here is the bill of materials of everything that's in there. So you can verify the items before you take them off and if you need to edit these assemblies um, you can also edit them on the fly as well. If I wanted to edit this I simply right click hit edit and I can adjust the bill of materials that's in there and change other factors about the assembly right here in takeoff. That's just a brief overview here of, of how the screen is laid out. To the right here, we've, we've got the audit trail. Um, the audit trail lists out the items that you've taken off. And uh, as you click on the audit trail, um, it highlights the item and shows you what item that is uh, in, in the system here. And if you're zoomed in, if I were to zoom in on an area and click around in the audit trail, it will jump me to where that item is on the screen and place it in the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on a new takeoff here. So we're going to start on a blank slate for this drawing. I'm going to hit new zone. Um, for our zone here, we're going to declare our system. So in this case, we're going to work on the sanitary below grade. This is in the west wing of the building. So that's going to be our zone name. Uh, drawing is P1 and floor is UG for underground. Um, these all, all of these uh, categories become... Uh, ways that you can further break out your project in quotes off so you can easily uh, look at in your reports at the end look at the drawing by floor by drawing number by zone name by spec name or by any combination thereof and we have even further breakouts that you can add in your takeoff for, for specific areas on a drawing um, or to break out breakout items literally for any reason uh, you can imagine it's, it's just a wide open wide open uh, infrastructure there including this miscellaneous info a b c d and e or a b c and d that you can label and name to have even further breakouts we also have a cost code and labor code uh, breakout system as well that we can get into in more detail at another time and so i'm going to hit okay and what this is going to do is it's going to create a new zone for my takeoff on this drawing 
Okay, so now we're in a new zone here with a blank slate here, and uh, and so I'm gonna, just going to briefly go over how the takeoff works in our program. First, you select a size, and then you select an item. So if I want to scale pipe, you select pipe, and to scale this pipe out, you simply just click at one end and click at the other. It really is that simple. Um, it's uh, it, and if you want to come back here and put a Y in, you just simply grab your Y from your list and place that on the screen and as necessary, right? And go back to pipe. And this is what we call our basic takeoff. It's uh, it's something that anybody first day could easily get down into the system. It's just as simple as selecting a size, selecting an item, clicking it on the screen, okay? So that's a, a very basic form of takeoff. Every user will be able to get that down on their first uh, first at bat. Um, on the uh, but as far as some more advanced features go, we actually have an auto pipe feature that fills the pipe in between as you go from fitting to fitting. And so if I start with say a two-way cleanout, and I click this down, you notice the uh, pipe is following my cursor. And so I go to my Y, place that. Go to my next Y, place that. Uh, I can scroll pan over on the drawing here. I've got a combo. Grab my combo, take that off. Uh, grab my reducing Y uh, down to uh, uh, four by two. Take that off. Go back to my combo, and you notice it's filling in between as I go. And I can actually cover ground pretty quickly here and take off this entire main run with all the pipe and fittings and the excavation accounted for um, it with uh, with very quickly there, going from fitting to fitting. Okay, and so this is a form of takeoff. Um, that is also very easy to get uh, by your second uh, or maybe third training. You should be pretty proficient in this feature as well. Um, and then there's one other level, one other grade you could get to in QuoteSoft that is going to be even faster. And so I'm going to start with this two-way cleanout, but then on my next fitting, what I have is I have my common fitting set to keys on my keyboard. So you can't see my left hand here, but my right hand is on the mouse, so my left hand is on the left side of my keyboard. And so I've got various keys for common fitting. So if you look in the bottom right hand of your screen right now, when I click A, you're going to see a quarter bend. When I click S, you're going to see a uh, uh, an eighth bend, Z would be a combo, C would be a Y, Z is a reducing combo, V is a reducing Y, and these are just these are just the ways I've chosen to have these set up. They could be any key on your keyboard, but the idea is you get the uh, the common fittings, the the five, six, maybe seven common fittings that you're taking off all the time when you're taking off a sanitary system, and you set them to keys on your keyboard. And so in this case, I'm going to hit C and go to my Y. I've got another Y here, so I just click that down. Z is my combo. Go V for my reducing Y, down to 4 by 2 Z back to my combo. And you notice it, uh, I can actually go even a little bit faster than I can talk about it. Um, it's a very fast form of takeoff and allows me to get that, that down. And then coming off of branches here, I've got a, a button for pipe. I've got a button for a 45. And I can get just about this entire takeoff done with my quick keys and notice I never had to go back down to my palette below. I never had to look at the, uh, the hover text to see what fitting it was or take my cursor from up here all the way down here. I'm just simply using keys on my keyboard, but I'm getting exactly the right fitting I should get in each one of these circumstances. And, uh, and, and I know that I'm getting the right fitting because I'm, I'm selecting it and placing it on the screen. For the assemblies here, we've got some water closet assemblies. And so again, uh, I can go down to my assembly palette here. I can sort by W. Uh, I've got water closets here. And again, I've got this kind of on a small uh, screen here, but this works pretty pretty well for, for what I'm doing. Um, but, you know, of course, you could have multiple screen setups here. Um, I'm trying to get this on one screen to make the video easier, but I had, do have two monitors. You could have three or four or however many monitors, and you could have these palettes in different locations so they're not bunched up. And, uh, and so I'm going to select this assembly. It shows me the picture and the bill of materials for each one of those. And I can just simply take one of those off at each section here. And then, of course, if I need to take off this four-inch pipe, I can just hit my pipe button and easily just take this off. All right, and so that's going to account for – now, you notice, like, for example, in the drawing, this is not vented. But if I look at my assembly, my assembly does include a 4 by 2 reducing Y. It does include some 2-inch fittings and 2-inch pipe. And so I know I have my vent covered from an estimate point of view. So that's a brief overview of how you use this for sanitary. As you can probably imagine, I could take off this whole drawing uh, in just a matter of a few minutes. 
Um, but I want to move on to the next system here. We're going to move on to this domestic water system. So I'm going to hit new zone, change to my domestic water. So I'm going to change my sanitary below grade uh, to my domestic water. I will just do sweat copper. Now the zone is still west wing. The drawing is still P1, but the floor now, instead of being underground, it's going to be first floor. So I'm going to type that in, hit OK. <clears throat> And now it's switched my system over so I can still see the sanitary I took it off before. But now if I want to take off this cold water line here, you notice I have a different set of sizes available. That's because it's driven by the spec. But when I hit two inch, my 90 is always in that same place. And my A key on my keyboard is going to give me a 90. Even though the 90 is a copper 90, that A key is programmed so that regardless of what system you're in, you're going to get your 90 degree turn. And, uh, and it's going to determine what item that will be based on the spec itself. So it really makes the takeoff very congruent from system to system. And so I'm going to take off that 90. I do have a butterfly valve here, so I'm going to grab that, uh, switch back to my 90. I've got a check valve here, uh, a couple gate valves, you know, and I could put these in. And I could have a key for those valves as well. I just uh, don't happen to have one set up. Reducing T, that goes down to one inch there. And then I'm reducing T down to two inch. And this is where we're going to actually change size and head over to our hot water heater. And so I'm going to switch that to two, um, grab my ball valve, which I do have a key for, grab a, a straight T here, a 90, and then up to my 90 down to my hot water heater. Now coming off of this hot water heater, first I can grab the hot water heater assembly. So I can go down to my two inch, we'll say without a recirc pump. I've got my picture and bill of materials. I can double check. I'm getting everything I need and then just simply take that off. And then when I'm coming off of my hot water, I can switch back to my 90, but now I can hit red there. It's very accessible. And, uh, and now I'm taking off the hot water on the system and, uh, and it's colored appropriately. And so, you know, again, it's very simple um, to use there. And, uh, and, you know, it actually does more than just give you a pretty picture on the audit trail itself. You notice we keep track of what is in red and what is in blue. And so this allows you, if you need to go back later and make a change to say the insulation thickness for the hot water or for the cold water, um, you just simply highlight everything that's in red. And then under our global, we have toggles for insulation, changing hangers, changing the size, um, adding uh, 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 material, or excuse me, adding labor here using what we call a per item factor or multiples area system phase tag all those kinds of things you can make changes to the items very easily after the fact uh, in our audit trail there and so that was just a very brief um, overview of our takeoff here and uh, and so i hope to get a chance to show you a full demo of our program um, and it uh, takes about 45 minutes to an hour and so uh, please just check us out at quotesoft.com and uh, go to your uh, state or province or country and, uh, and contact the uh, rep for that area. I appreciate your time. Thank you.